The breaking news, though, today, Bruce Garriock is reporting that the Senators are parting ways with Assistant General Manager Trent Mann. He's been the Ch- Sens Chief Amateur Scout for a number of years now. His brother just got fired as Belleville Senators head coach. And this also comes on the heels, interestingly enough, of Michael Anlauer making an appearance at Senators Development Camp. Do you think conversations were had? We also haven't even touched on the fact lost in all the Debrinka shuffle, and I almost feel like it was a bit of a news dump. The Senators' chief business officer, Anthony LeBlanc, also resigning effective immediately. So even though the ink isn't dry yet on the ownership papers for Michael Anlauer, the winds of change are here. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. And and you know what? This is this is a new era that the Senators are entering here. And I feel like both Troy and Trent Mann did really good jobs while they were here. Seems like they were genuinely passionate about making the Ottawa Senators a better hockey team uh, in the present and in the future. But it just seems like there needs to be some change happening. And Maybe there was something that Michael Anlauer thought, hey, the drafting and developing isn't up to where he expects it to be, and he wanted to make some changes. So it'll be interesting to see if and when and who will be replacing these roles and to see if there's kind of a a pattern that we can pick up on that maybe there's a certain direction that he wants this team to go in. It just seems like the timing is is what kind of confuses me. In in a sense, it makes makes reason that it would be after the draft. They're about to start their process all over again. And we know Trent Mann's main piece of helping this team has been in the draft. He was the leading force behind Brady Kachuk being the pick at number four. Of course, Pierre Dorian always has say on top 10 picks, but it just feels like so quickly after being promoted. I don't know. But now all of a sudden the Senators hockey operations is is back to being a little thinner without Trent Mann. They added Ryan Bonus. That president of hockey ops never came. But yeah. let's just say this. There's more change coming. Like, come on. There's no chance Michael Anlauer is coming in here and a couple pieces are going, but not everyone. No, I, I think we're going to see some serious changes here sooner rather than later. And I, I'm curious now about Pierre Dorian going on radio this morning. Like, he obviously knew. Right this morning, there's no chance that this has come you down in a matter of two hours. I would think at least. I'm, yeah. I'm guessing, but wow, what would you say Trent Mann's legacy is with the Ottawa Senators? Because Senators obviously trusted him based on the fact that outsiders thought he was wild for taking Drake Batherson. To me, was like the one where he knew as an East Coast guy, he knew there was this diamond in the rough. Drake Batherson, they got in the fourth round. Then they step up and take Brady Kachuk fourth overall in tw- in 2018. They hit a grand slam home run in the 2020 draft, but still outsiders would always rag on the Sens drafting strategy. Like where do you, where do you feel the, the, the truth will lie or the thought process will lie of the fan base towards Trent man. Yeah. It's going to be divided. I think Ross, because I think there's a good group of the fan base that is just like hashtag in Trent man, we trust. And it's like, we don't always agree with the decisions that he makes, but it's when you start looking at it and down the road, you're like, okay, at the time that seemed like a terrible decision, but it worked out like Ross, if I was in charge of the uh, Sens drafting, this team would have, um, would have Zadina. And if Byfield was available instead of Timmy, I would have done that at that time. Terrible, terrible choices, obviously. But, yeah, I, I would and should have been fired. But at the time, you're sitting there being like, what are they doing? This is so different than the path that scouts and other teams seem to follow. But it works. And I've always said, I don't always agree with the drafting process that the Sens have, but I respect that they stick to their guns and they have principles that they follow. And it, it seems to work for them. So to, to answer your question, I think the um, Trent Mann's legacy is going to be being bold enough to go against the grain when it comes to drafting and scouting and developing because Ottawa more than any other team drafted so differently than everyone else. Like it it became a a running joke between online scouts being like, 
how are the Sens gonna gonna shock us again this year? Like, there's no way they're gonna pull off uh, a couple more wild reaches of draft picks or guys that are not on our best player available, right? So I think that's something that you got to commend him for is he didn't give a damn about what the consensus thought was of him. He had a process, he had a way of doing things, and that's what he did. So o- overall. I don't think there should be too many Sens fans that, you know, are more negative about Trent and Troy Mann than positive, in my opinion. Trent Mann joined the Ottawa Senators in 2011. He's worked for the team for 11 seasons. He spent the first six as an amateur scout. Then he filled Pierre Dorian's role as director of amateur scouting. When he replaced Brian Murray as GM, he'd been the director of amateur scouting up until July of last year. When the day that Ryan Bonus was hired, Trent Mann was also promoted to that role. So Trent Mann leaves the Ottawa Senators after 11 seasons. What are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments below. We are very curious to hear what everyone thinks about this one. And we are also curious to know what's, what's next. Like what is next for the Ottawa Senators during this time of transition when the product on the ice, there's no excuses. 